probably not the best time to be looking at, you know, at the start of your prep. I was on Instagram, I usually, I don't know why, but on Instagram I follow these people that like do really amazing desserts and I should really unfollow them. <laughs> so I saw this. Oh, so basically it's like s'mores in Oreos. Oh jeez. Colourful foodie. Basically, she's got loads of little dessert. She has all these amazing foods. <laughs> oh, this one. A churro. Which, maybe one day I'll make after prep. I really should just put, oh well, gotta live life, right? And then sometimes whenever it's really bad, I start dreaming about it. I mean, I might as well dream about it if I can eat it, right? <laughs> I felt a bit peckish, so I will have this now. I'm going to add 5 grams of peanut butter. Whoa, 5 grams so much. I just got my posing shoes. I got it from Show Shoe Me. That's so hard to say. This is so Ooh, I'm so excited. I hope they fit. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. What happened to that bit? Shoes. There, they go up your ankle. So, yeah, these are my posing shoes. Oh, I thought they were going to be higher. I ain't gonna be very tall on these. Isn't tall? You're supposed to measure it. Well, four and a half, is it? Yeah. Oh, hey everyone! I'm back from work, I'm having dinner. I kinda felt like I was craving rice. So I made some chicken fried rice. So I swapped that out with Orbanum's pizza and the breakfast. So yeah, I've got my fried rice now. I'm gonna put some ketchup on it, and that'll be me. Then I'm gonna show you this little dessert I found on Instagram. It's like a little indulging treat that will fit in my macros perfectly. All right, let's see. We are going to make a brownie in a mug. Quick and easy and tasty. Well, let's hope it's tasty. All right, so. It says a tablespoon of oat flour. So basically I got this from, just like from oatmeal, but just grinded it up in the blender. So let's see. So 10 grams of that. An egg white. So I have the Alpro coconut milk. You can use almond milk if you want. So what, how much is it? Five grams. And we have cocoa powder. I'm in love with so the cocoa. So I have five grams of this fine dark cocoa powder. I'm in love with the cocoa. Have you been losing weight? Uh, yes. Slowly but surely. I think, um, like, because I was so used to losing weight constantly for ages before I started my. Um, maintenance calories and then whenever I gave weight like I've forgotten how slow it is I've literally lost like not going to um, every day and then sometimes I just go back, all the way back up for no other reason I don't know how I just it just shows that you know losing weight takes patience it really does and if you don't have patience for it, it's it's not for you because then you're just going to get frustrated with yourself mentally and physically, you're going to harm yourself um, like weight wise and it's just going to help you and also it is a mental gain Okay, so 10 grams of this milk chocolate drops Wait, maybe I mix it first So I'm going to mix it This is what it looks like yeah, cocoa powder. Ooh. 
I'm in love with the cocoa. Mmm, smell that chocolate. Oh, it's, oh crap. A little bit of baking powder. Ooh! Okay, and then what I think you're meant to do is microwave it. So we're gonna put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds and then see. Wow, it has cooked. So let's do a taste test. I think I just overcooked it a little bit. But yeah, give this a thumbs up. Yeah. Um, and it was really good. The macros are really good for it as well. It's like literally five fat, um, five protein, and what, 12 carbs. So yeah, definitely fit this in like regularly if you have like macros left. All right, take two of the brownie mug. Thing. So this time I added a little bit more chocolate because I had more carbs and fats and then peanut butter inside as well. 